Hi, my name is Adrian Woodrup and I'm a Solutions Architect at ANS Group. I wanted to run through uh, an application we've built uh, that helps frontline staff uh, make sure they've got uh, the right PPE kit. So this is in the form of a situation report that uh, is, is done periodically, so not on uh, any time you want really, on any schedule, but for this, this scenario we're doing it on Monday and a Wednesday. Uh, and this kicks out a form to uh, area managers uh, for organisations like care home or, or district nurses or, or that kind of organisation uh, and just getting a situation report from there, from what, what, their, what their current status is, what the current PP equipment is like and, and, and how they, they're coping through all this, uh, this, this pandemic. So um, we've built this on the Power Platform, we've built it using uh, Forms Pro. Uh, you, and Power Automate to do a lot of the scheduling. We're bringing data into the common data service and the modeling in the common data service in, uh, and then presenting it back via Power BI. So the Forms Pro is a nice easy form that's uh, very easy to complete. It, it automatically links to the common data service so data's uh, every time a form submitted it goes into the common data service. Uh, we can then, once it's been submitted into the CDS, then we can uh, uh, create a task on the back of that instantly as soon as something's submitted and we can also submit out from uh, from Power Automate. Uh, and this is what that looks like. So so working from the top right, we've already got an existing SQL database with, with contacts in, so these can either be accounts or contacts when they're in CDS, but, but we've got a contacts table. So this is uh, organization name, uh, email address or main email address, uh, a unique number for that organization, uh, and any other information we want to pull through. So using the uh, Azure Data Factory to pull that information into uh, to the CDS as a contact entity. This could be a contact or an account entity, depending on how we want to do this. Uh, and then we can do, uh, because it's once it's in there, we can then use Power Automate to say, if this contact doesn't have a main email address, uh, notify someone to go and get that email address and populate that data. So, so then once the data is in the CDS, we're saying we've got a, a contact card or a, an account card in there, uh, we can then create a form. So we've got multiple form, forms, for example, we've got a care home template, we've got a um, district nurse template and other templates we can use. Uh, what we're going to do then is say, using Power Automate, um, get contact type or account type and then cr get the form that's unique to that, 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 that organisation type and submit to that, that to them on a, uh, uh, a regular basis, so on a Monday or Wednesday. Once that's complete then we're going to take that data every time one's completed and pump that into an Azure SQL table. So let's look at what that actually looks like. So um, I've been emailed uh, a survey, uh, I've been asked to, to start doing that survey so I'm going to click in my email uh, and run through that. We, we can customise this to say anything we want as well and, and obviously customise this as much as we need. So, so that's come through. Uh, in a second, I'll show you what this form looks like in a template form. But that, this has come through now. It's, it's pulled my uh, my business name through uh, and my total employ employees through. I could put a unique reference number here as well, but in, the, in this template, I've not done. Um, so it's going through asking me, me a number of questions. You can put these as required or not required. It's very easy. I don't know if you've used Microsoft Forms before. It's really easy to build these forms out. Uh, so we open. Yes, we're open. Uh, of the number of staff. Uh, of, the, of the 20 staff, so again it's pulled my staff number through as a variable. How many available to work? I'm going to put four, five, so I'm just putting random numbers in here. Uh, <coughs> how many have got potential potential issues? I've got six in there. How many is the hospital? None. Uh, equipment, I'm going to put um, two weeks to a month on everything. Two weeks to a month, two weeks to a month. So we can look for eye protection. And again, we can customize these as much as we need. Uh, and the last one I'll put, uh, no hand sanitizer on the left. Uh, we've got access to supply. Oh, no, are you having problems with supplies? Yes and yes. Ag again, we can customize these questions and pull these data through. Uh, and do you need any further help? And that's it, very easy. Uh, extremely simple to do. So let's run through what that form looks like in it, it before it's built. So here we can see we've pulled the variables through. Uh, and in Forms Pro, we can create a survey variables. So we've got organization type, account type, links to an account name, number of employees, uh, previous answers. So we're pulling previous answers through here. So what these variables do when we create this in Power Automate, uh, we'll, we're matching the variable to an entity in the CDS and it's pulling that data through. Uh, so you can see as we run through this, we're pulling the variables in, in, in set places. Uh, we can put previous answers in there. So, so the response I put in uh, had those previous answers in as well. So now once that's, that's submitted, all the data is going to the common data service uh, and then on the common data service we're connecting Power BI 
Uh, so Power BI's, and this is all dummy data I've put in here. I've, I've, I've just mocked up uh, a thousand records, some with, with, with no names and some with duplicate names in. So we're just looking for a unique organization number. Uh, and what I can do here, I can quickly see of my, this is a region for example, or I've created this as an example of a region. I can see of my, what I should have staff available. This is what I've currently got available. Uh, staff with symptoms, uh, hopefully this isn't the case. Uh, service users with symptoms, so, so people in the, the care homes that have got, they've got issues. Uh, and, and what our PPE situation is across all the, the care homes. Again, this is dummy data, it means absolutely nothing. So I can search here for Woodruff Care Home. Uh, I can see that they're open. Uh, I can see how many service users they've got affected with, with COVID symptoms, staff with symptoms and available staff out of what I should have. Uh, I can look at um, what my gloves are. So once to, one, one week, two months, that, that I can see what um, aprons and everything like that, and I can see hand sanitizers none and what I can do on this data so once that, that, that none is in there I can use again power automate to kick out a, a, either a task or a notification to someone to get gloves out to me uh, or I can I can filter on all uh, for example let me turn this filter off I can filter on all people with uh, no hand sanitizer Sorry, let me take the search off. I can search for all people with no hand sanitizer and find out where those, what, which organisations are and which organisations are, are um, open with no hand sanitizer, um, and uh, quickly report on that and create tasks on the back of that as well. And that's it. I just want to quickly run through that uh, and, and and how easy this is to, to build. Um, deployed uh, in a matter of hours. Uh, and it just depends on what customizations you need for the Power Automate uh, and where your data is coming from. Um, get in touch with any questions. Thank you very much.